and brothers of America. It fills my heart with joy unspeakable to rise in response to the warm and cordial welcome that you have given us. I thank you in the name of the most ancient one of the monks in the world. I thank you in the name of the mother of religions. And I thank you in the name of millions and millions of tens of people from all classes and sects. My thanks also to some of the speakers on this platform who referred to the delegates and the audience have told you these men from far off nations may well claim the honor of bearing the different values, the ideal of toleration. I'm proud to belong to a religion which has taught the world both tolerance and universal acceptance. We not just believe in universal tolerance, but we accept all religions as true. I'm proud to belong to a nation which has shielded the persecuted and the refugees from all religions and nations of the earth. I'm proud to tell you that we're gathering in Jerusalem, the purest remnant of the Israelites, who come to southern India and take refuge within us, the very year their holy temple chapter in the of by one material. I'm proud to belong to a nation which is sheltered and is still possible, the grand remnant of the Zoroastrian nation. I will come to you, brethren, if you want to be healed, if your membership has been repeated to my earliest boyhood which is every day repeated by millions of human beings. If the past time your souls live in different places to which men take their different tendencies, it is crooked or straight, all you should be. The present conversion is one of the most august assemblies ever had, which is itself a vindication, a declaration of the wonderful word of the doctrine preached in the deep end. Whosoever comes to me with whatsoever form, I reach him. All men are struggling to patch it in the end all we can. Sectarianism, biblotry, and its noble descent of financium have all possessed this beautiful earth. They filled the world with violence, drenched it often and often with human blood, destroyed civilization, and sent whole nations to despair. But if not been for these noble beings, human society would have been far more advanced than it is now. But their time has come, and I fear we hope that the bell that told this morning not of this convention would be the death knell of all finances, of all persecutions with the sword or with the pen, of all uncharitable feelings, the person drinking their interest in gold. 